Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States What, we're going to be showing you how to replace a cabin air filter in a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. You guys know what comes next. Ooh, let's get into this. All right, first thing, you got to access the glove box area. Get a light in there. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in here, and the work truck has definitely been worked. So there is a shelf right here. You pull up and out. Then there's a cover right here. It says slide up and remove. So slide up and remove. Now that we're at the HVAC box right here, the blower motor is below this. There's a tab on the right side. There's a tab on the left side. Get that out of the way. Cabin air filter is right here. And great googly moogly, it is well overdue for replacement. So we get that filter out. We inspect in there to make sure there's no debris or any gugats or any fifle and or two hole activity. And we don't see any. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some glass cleaner in there, get a rag up in there, clean up what debris and dirt that we can. And then we're gonna insert the new cabin air filter. Very good. Now we sprayed a little glass cleaner in there and we're just going to try and just clean out as much as we can. You're not going to get it perfect but you, you at least want to try, you know what I mean? Clean all the excess up. Really bad ones you might have to get a vacuum up in the, the blower motor, the squirrel cage, which is it's right there as you can see. So just get up in there, get what you can customer or whoever purchases the car or if this is your car you'll appreciate it their lungs will appreciate it very good very good get whatever excess guts out of there and boom now we're ready for the new cabin air filter now that we have the brand new cabin air filter ready to go an OEM one will tell you exactly how to install it. You see the arrows, you need it pointing up. You got the part number right there. If you have a Tacoma, that's the part number. Now there are aftermarket filters. There might be better than OEM. They might not be. Some are charcoal filters, which filter out the air even better. Some are not. Oh, you also want to clean the door here of any debris before you install it. So yeah, so, some uh, aftermarket companies, they do make charcoal filters, which uh, I highly recommend if you're in a dusty area or anything like that. Uh, if you have any odors in your HVAC assembly, I highly recommend you perform the AC evaporator course service that Toyota offers. So if you guys are familiar with the channel, you've seen me do this service before. It's a AC power foam evaporator cleaner and refresher. This can is actually foam that we inject up the AC drain tube. And then uh, once that foam breaks down, it turns into a liquid and then it rushes out of the drain tube and it takes any debris that's at the bottom of the tray, any mold or mildew, and it gets rid of it. And uh, it gives you a, a more pleasant smelling or at least a, a cleaner smelling HVAC assembly. That's the first part. The second part, is this guy right here to where you actually physically remove the cabin air filter put the door back on and you turn the HVAC assembly on and you pick what vents you want or you cycle through the vents and this guy here you actually spray through the fresh air inlet that's over here and well as you can see that's dirty no wonder why we're replacing the cabin air filter but you have your fresh air inlet there you have your fresh air inlet there you spray it in there, but you have to have your HVAC door set to open. Where is it? Yeah, this guy. You don't want that on. You want it off. So the fresh air inlet door is open. This sprays through the fresh air inlet, and then you pick which vents, or you cycle through the vents, so this could go through the vents. So it's a whole system disinfectant, which is a beautiful service. Customers will actually notice a difference with their vehicle. So, we already did that. I'm just showing you how to replace the filter and uh, clean the door before you install it, which we already did. Make sure it 
buckle snaps into place. Boom. We have our next guy. We're going to go in one way. Very good for a shot. And then we got our door. The door snaps into over here first. And then it snaps in on the bottom there second. And then guess what? You're done. And that's how you replace a cabin air filter in a Toyota Tacoma. If you guys don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.